I had nothing to do with the disappearance of my wife. I have nothing to hide. Sammy got friends we can talk to? No, not really. You don't know if she has friends, you don't know what she does all day, and you don't know your wife's blood type. You ever hear the expression, the simplest answer is often the correct one? Actually, I've never found that to be true. There's something about Ben Affleck that is very disarming in the positive and the negative, right? He's like, he's like, he's, he's handsome and he's like jockish and he's a big movie star, but there's something about him that you kind of wonder his motivations, do you know what I mean? And, and that's perfect for Nick Dunn because throughout the whole movie, you're, you're never sure whether, whether he has done what everyone thinks he has. He's charming, guys like him, girls like him, and it's, it's he's got the sort of, he's got the intellect and the wit to go on this journey and, and be tossed and turned in the tide of this extraordinary story. He's just an incredibly engaging actor, and in this particular role, he has so much to do because he has to sort of be completely innocent and completely guilty at the same time, so it's a really masterful performance. It's just nice to have a movie that um, I'm proud of, and I got to work uh, for David Fincher, which was really, really cool. Uh, it's the kind of movie where even when you have a really bad cold, like I do now, I'm so excited to come out and support it. New York Film Festival, all my other movies I applied to get in, we didn't get in. So uh, to get in finally is a pretty cool thing. Uh, and it's, you know, look, when you're proud of a movie, it's a really fun thing to go out and support it. Now you and your wife, Jen, have a movie coming out on the same weekend. Have you had any fun with that? Is it getting competitive in the Affleck house? Uh, no, we don't compete too much. We, we root for each other and, uh, you know, she's got, she, and Men, Women and Children and Alexander are both really great movies. And I'm, I'm super excited for her. I'm really proud of how she, she managed to spend so much time at home and still kind of pick off these really interesting, smart movies. You know, like I say, these two and Dallas Buyers Club. And she's just extremely sharp about being a mom and career management.